Okay. Um, so uh, we have to route messages to state charts within any logic. So there's two things missing currently within this model. Thing one, um, we have to, uh, at a technical level, route the messages to the appropriate state chart. So if you go to person and you go to agent, what you'll find is there's some fields here um, on, on arrival, on message received. And actually, it says forward message to the infection state chart. So we're actually fine with that. It actually automatically forwards it. It knows, hey, forward any message received to that state chart. If there were multiple state charts, we could check which we want messages to go to. Um, could have them go to multiple state charts, et cetera. OK, so that's issue one. Well, great. So can we run this model? I'm going to run it. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no one infected right now. OK, so we need to start with at least one person infected. Now, there's, there's two ways to do that. We could have people be created in a random state of in infection. I'm going to do it up in Maine. This is kind of a useful um, uh, thing to learn about. So up in Maine, there's a thing called startup code. Okay, um, And you can have the environment seed an infection by having it do environment.send, excuse me, um, dot, uh, uh, excuse me, environment dot um, deliver message, um, deliver to random a message exposed. Um, OK, um, that's in startup code. So I clicked on main and, uh, excuse me, uh, yes, in, in main. And I went to general startup code and I did environment dot deliver to random exposed. Let me go copy that into my that that's what it looks like, except it's it's on one line. Um, so so let's um, let's tone it down a bit. There. Environment dot deliver to random. Now you notice there's a capital T, capital R. It's picky. It's pickier. That's one of the reasons it's easier to do deliver control space and then you can just choose it okay and then you can do exposed okay so that's going to deliver it to a single person and we could have it loop and do it to a bunch of people if we wanted to um, alternatively what we could do so uh, alternatively what we could do is to um, to have you know people randomly distributed so a certain fraction or in one state and and uh, I could comment on how to do that in just a second. Now, if we try to build the model, any logic will be very unhappy. And it's unhappy because it needs something called a semicolon. Um, and, uh, and you have to put the semicolon and t tell it to s to what's the end of a given statement. Okay? Um, sometimes it, it needs it after. This is telling it to do something. And often, that requires a semicolon. If you had several statements, there'd certainly be ones required. Sometimes any logic fills them in, so it's kind of hard to remember when it requires it or not. But it requires a semicolon. So, um, so anyway, environment dot deliver to random, and you could put any message you want in there. Okay, so it's going to deliver to a random one. Um, any questions about that? Any TA help needed? Okay, I'd like to run this model now. And then we can run it. OK, now we had, did anyone see that? Let's restart that. OK, restart, boom. OK, here's one person infected. It is spreading. Either it's a statistical aberration or, or we are now seeing, ladies and gentlemen, contagion. It is spreading along here. People aren't recovering. Their status is changing. The infection sweeps on, rich and poor alike, um, infected and, and struck down. Um, OK, so, so this is, um, this is uh, now captured the spread of infection. No, I didn't have to do anything. Um, I, I thought I might have to, but um, in this version of AnyLogic, it fills in which, which um, state charts to fill it in. It, it just by default routed it to the right thing. I was thinking I might have to go check this box. 
but it knew to, to route, the, when a message is received, go to the state chart. Um, see, see it says forward messages to, forward message to? Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, I went through that real quick. I'd like to review this, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, really, what's. Oh, okay. So, so let's, let's talk about what's going on there. So, so the question was um, uh, up in Maine, there was a bit of somewhat mysterious code that I put here environment dot deliver to random with exposed. And the question was, how does that relate to anything else we did? Why does that somehow magically seed infection around the network? Is that, yeah. Um, okay, so, so let's think mechanistically about what's going on when this is, is called. What this is telling it is once the network is created, things are set up, um, go and deliver to a random person within the environment, who's keeping been keeping track of by the environment. In other words, anyone in this population, because population here depends, sort of delegates to the environment information about, about it, its location and so on. And what we're saying is, um, in the startup, hey, environment, for any of those people in that population, anyone you you're keep track of, deliver to one random, of, one random one of them this message, okay? This message exposed. Okay. It's, it, this is a message. And what's going on then is it's going to deliver it to a person. And when the person receives it, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's going to route that message to the state chart. Okay? When this person, under this agent property, it says forward message to infection state chart. So it's going to go to the state chart. Now, if this person is in a susceptible state, when they get a message, they're going to unconditionally go to this infective state. Does that make sense? When they get any message right now. All right, so how, so that part's not quite clear. Where's the code that is? So, uh huh. That is, so we have entry action in the color green. Yep. All right, and then we have a transition. Yep. Fire transition unconditioned. Yep. Triggered by a message. Okay, so any message. Right. So now I could say if message equals. So, so let, me, let me show this, um, just to reinforce this concept. If I went up to Maine and I sent these folks a message that said, fooled, um, you know, something like that, right? Or said, hi, um, you know, I tried to send them a greeting, what would happen? Yeah, the same, same darn thing, watch this. Um, I run this and, you know, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, um, hello, um, okay, went out, okay. Oh, did I? Okay, oh, okay, sorry, in the, in the person you mean? Okay, sorry, um, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you, um, I, I was sorry to doubt my, um, my sanity here, um, okay. So, so here, I just sent a friendly greeting of hi, and now this giant component has been, been in back infected, right? Um, why is that? Because right now it's undiscriminately going in this transition. However, if I set this to be, if message equals exposed, exclamation point, um, and I ran it now, uh, then, then you know that initial message. Let's let's statistically um, test this thing. Okay, um, I'm not sure when p equals 0 .0, uh, less than 0 0.05, but uh, we're getting pretty close. Um, so so uh, you know I'm very confident that it's ignoring that initial message. If I went up, if I went up here and I did uh, delivered a random exposed and I and I delivered it here to a random person. Um, now, now it's it's back to uh, back to action. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so that's one way of seeding it. A another way of seeding it, the UN is used. I don't know if UN is still uh, in the room, but uh, UN is used as a good 
to good effect. If, if you want to distribute a population among a bunch of states, another good way of doing it is have, have a, 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 don't do this yourself. And don't do this at home. Um, but, uh, but you could have something like this where you're initially you come into this and you're routed between um, different of these uh, subsequent states based on different probabilities, excuse me. Um, uh, so you're routed that way with a certain probability. You're routed this way with a certain probability. And we could distribute, you know, 1% of the population to the infected state and 99% and to the, to the uh, susceptible state. And um, you, you probably want it to look nicer than that. So, um, you know, I'd probably want to, to, to double click on this and double click here and drag this over like that. So the point is you can kind of route agents which initial state they go to based on certain proportions that might be the prevalence of infection in the population. You seed it that way. That's, that's another way to seed it. Then you don't have to send anyone a message. They just start in some start in the infected state. Does that make sense? Okay, any questions? Okay. Um, we have gone, within the past uh, hour, we've gone through a, a, a large amount of, of material, and I, pro uh, I apologize for the brevity of my coverage of this. It's just, um, we do have a, a lot to go through tomorrow, and I want to get you the basic building blocks.